let him go. He ain't gonna go nowhere. So if, if you feel less than, and they want to feel greater than, mm -hmm. but they don't do more than you do, and you don't even know the value of what you do until here recently, mm -hmm. then, then why would they? Yeah, understand. There you go. So if you really want what's best for you and them, that's why I've been fussing about what? Business. Since day one, I said, bro, we got to get your business in order. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've been telling you that from fucking day one. Stan, we got to get, because when you are clear about your business's identity, mm -hmm. then you know how you want it to run. Then when situations like this happen, the thing is, is I press everybody's button because I press play and go. Yeah. So I ain't even like, we're not even talking about it. If I, I'll go back and say, hey guys, we should do this better than that, but press play and go. Yeah. So how are you gonna keep up <laughs> with somebody who's doing the job of 10 people? Yeah. 10 fucking people. Now you can do only so much today, we know that. But the people who come now and associate themselves with you, they have to do what? Yeah. They have to understand their value and why they need you to be you. Mm -hmm. That's the difference. So they fall back, my people fall back. And remember, I need him to be more of that. And then like, I know we, if we need this and that, you can go make it happen. Okay, but that means you gotta do this, this, and that. Yeah. Because if I have to do those things, then it's gonna be very difficult for me to sustain everything. So when you clear about what their roles should be, because it sound like they don't know their role. Yeah. So in various movies, say, hey, they, they, what does a master do? He'll say, go ahead and get in the ring so I could put you in your place. Because just when you think you've outdone the master, you forgot, bruh, I'm both, I'm the student too. Because the master's job is to watch you. Mm -hmm. So he, if he's already here, and he's got a skill that you don't have. He's watching your things. So when it's like trying to, he's like, bro, you still not, boom. He was like, boom, boom, look at your hands now, boom. He's taught you to do things and watch every mistake you make. Yeah. So that's why he kicks your ass so fast. Mm -hmm. But he got 25 years in it, you know what I mean? It's like Zorro was a good, the movie Zorro is a good depiction where Anthony Bandetta is, what does he does? He said, they're gonna teach you etiquette even when you go back. I don't know if you've seen Zorro. Mm. Point is, go watch the movie. It's great a movie. great depiction of him thinking, I'm ready. And then it's like, no you're not. Because you can't even speak their language. And if you get into a fight and then all of Spain per se comes after you, you can't win that war. Yeah. So to get to the top, you gotta think like somebody, like one of them. And you don't have the mind yet. You gotta have every skill in the world and still not know how to get to where you wanna go because you still think less of yourself. Or think, so mu think more of yourself and don't know the work that went into getting there. And they don't know what work it really took for you to get to the place you went, so of course. Why would they need you? Why? They don't know how much they really do need you until they go try to do it themselves. Yeah. And they're the kind that I love because they're never going to outdo you. Because you do dogs. This is your, your heart and soul is in the dogs. It's invested there. I've seen it a hundred times. I see it every time we do our dog thing. So I appreciate the value and exchange of value, right? Mm -hmm. Because I leave here on a high like, man, I got to do more with my dog. And every time you come back, I'm, my thing is I won't stand and be like, boy, you're on the right track. Yep. And different times he corrects me. And at the same time, it's like, okay, good. He's, he's, he's doing what he's supposed to do because the dog is a reflection of my efforts. Yep. And you know, so you say, ask him, where's your effort? <laughs> what? The books don't show the reflection of y'all's effort or y'all real concerned about this money. Yeah. If y'all was that concerned, then I would have a, what we call a, a oversell issue, meaning I think, what's it called? Hey, we've got more, um, it's a term, basically more POs. Mm -hmm. We've got more POs than we can afford to, 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 to supply, you know, supply and demand. It really that simple. So you say, I don't have that many, I don't have so many dogs that I can't do it. That's what we feel. So go sell me a thousand more dogs. Mm -hmm. Then we'll talk about money. It's a short conversation. <laughs> Cause y'all ain't doing the work. Yep. <laughs> Cut and print. <laughs> That's simple as that. <laughs> Boy like look at this nigga still on this thing. That dog is a psychopath. <laughs> no, he you're go. done. You're done. You're done. Kid. You don't got no off switch. <laughs> yeah, work on that next. Hey, yeah, exactly. <laughs> we working on that out next. You want me to carry something for you, boss? Uh, you can carry this bag so I can hold on to this food. Oh.